Welcome to the grasslands. These can be incredible places to hear and see birds in the lower 48 United States. And we're gonna go over some common vocalizations that you might hear when you are in a grassland or a field or any kind of open space uh, with some low vegetation. So keep in mind that depending on where you are, these are gonna be variable and birds make a ton of different vocalizations. These are just some of the more common ones. We'll also give you some tips on how to remember these vocalizations. So with that in mind, let's get into it. The field sparrow song increases in rate and pitch, and some have said it sounds like a ping pong ball being dropped onto a table, increasing as it goes. Savannah sparrows have a fairly raspy vocalization that sounds like zit 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 zi ze or take 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 it easy. They can often be seen singing in open areas. The Henslow Sparrow makes a short, slick note, almost like a hiccup. The Grasshopper Sparrow song may involve a series of bubbled, buzzy notes, and one of their songs sounds similar to Tic Tac 2C, with that last note being a trill. The Vesper Sparrow song is similar to Here, Here, Where, Where, All Together Now. The Lark Sparrow makes a series of trills, buzzes, and chips. The Clay Colored Sparrow song sounds like Z, Z, Z or just Z, Z. Next up is a large sparrow called the Eastern Tohi. One of their songs sounds like they're saying, drink your tea. The American Pippet makes short pip, pip, pip calls that can be heard when they're hanging out in fields or when they fly overhead. The Eastern Meadowlark song sounds similar to a slide whistle, or a mnemonic device for it, as it sounds like, but I do love you. The western meadowlark song sounds similar to the eastern, but is more bubbly. The horned lark makes a series of fast notes, often rising in pitch and ending with a jumble. The eastern kingbird makes a chattering vocalization with a buzzing zeer at the end. The western kingbird makes kip notes that when strung together sound similar to a song made up of a bunch of kips. The scissor-tailed flycatcher makes a series of accelerating notes that have been described as sounding like a puppy playing with a squeaky toy. The tree swallow vocalizations are very high pitched and can be composed of a chirp, a whine, and a gurgle in various patterns. The barn swallow makes a series of bubbly chips and warbles.
The Cedron makes a series of accelerating chips with a trill or chatter at the end. The yellow-breasted chat makes a series of clucks, whistles, cackles, and hoots. The northern bobwhite makes a namesake Bob White call. The upland sandpiper makes whistling noises that actually sound similar to a slide whistle, but are more stretched out than in the meadowlark vocalizations. The killdeer makes a vocalization that actually does sound like killdeer repeatedly, as well as a sharp D call. In select grasslands, prairie chickens do their booming displays when trying to court a mate, which sound incredibly unique. One of the eastern bluebird songs sounds similar to Cheer Cheerful Charmer. The bobolink has a metallic, robotic warbling song that has been compared to sounding like R2-D2 in love. The dick sissel makes a namesake dick sissel or dick dick sissel sissel vocalization. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also did a forest bird songs calls that you might want to listen to because a lot of our grasslands are on forest edges. So those forest bird vocalizations you can also hear in the grasslands. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Free audio post-production by Alphonic.com.